on this game, Wade starts off in check, and it looks like he's a total goner, right? Since, well, right now he's in check, and he's getting family thwarted by this knight. Now, if he moves to something, let's say, um, h1 in the corner, then black can simply take her queen, and yeah, sure, he can get, he can take their queen back, but then even after that, his knight can take, uh, your rook, and ends up, uh, up a rook. So, in this case, basically the forced rook takes f3, uh, uh, uh has to be possible, and then, well, of course, black takes a rook. Now, uh, white needs to find a, a good little counterattack, and, and attacking these dark squares of your bishop and your queen seems like a pretty good idea. But first of all, you can't just go in diving in with queen h6, like, all right away. Since then, black can respond with a few annoying checks and probably at least maintain a draw if he wants to and possibly win this game. So we need a more forcing move, such as rook to e3, which covers the queen g3 check and basically all checks, right? Since this doesn't work because of the pawn and really no other sensible check uh, is there. So, well, then after the balance, just say the queen picks this square. Well, now we invade of their battery with queen to c3. Now, black is just totally moveless since, well, I uh, can't move this bomb to, uh, to shut off the battery since it's pinned by our bishop. And well, what else can you do? Right? You can't put your queen on the way, just take it. So, um, I guess black can give away uh, his queen right there, uh, but this doesn't really delay the game that much since, well, whatever you do, probably just play another move like Queen H6 and Black is basically checkmated already.